Hi, Student Success Seminar. This is Dr. Linda Remark, and I am your instructor for this 16-week SSC 101 online course. So welcome to spring 2023. I always like to start off every semester with this welcome video that is going to help just walk you through and, and how to navigate the course. I do want to preface with saying if this is your very first online class here at Stark State College, um, whether it's Web 3, Web 2, before you can access your web courses, you will need to take the succeeding online orientation class and you will know that you have to take it because you won't even be able to get to this point right here. When you go to log into your courses in Blackboard, when you click on courses and you try to get into any of your courses that are web-based, it'll kind of pop up saying, hey, you've got to take your orientation. So please make sure you do that as soon as possible. Our courses do not open until January 17th. Spring semester opens on a Tuesday each year for the past several years because of the Martin Luther King Jr. Um, holiday. So just keep that in mind that you can take the orientation ahead of time. Uh, however, if you're watching this and you already have taken the orientation, our course still will not become available until that Tuesday the 17th. So anyway, again, welcome. This video is just going to walk you through some of the features of our course, even though the orientation will kind of walk you through the general elements of Blackboard. I really wanted to make sure that you were comfortable with what our course specifically is going to kind of ask of you to do on a weekly basis. So let's jump in. <clears throat> so when you log into our course after your orientation is done and you'll only have to take the orientation one time, it's six modules. Once you're finished with that, you're good to go. You're going to land on the start here page and you're going to probably use this more heavily the first few weeks of the semester than any other time. So when you get here, it's going to just kind of give you an overview. It'll have your name plugged in there. And just to tell you like what the course is over, then you're going to see our syllabi here. So the spring master syllabus and the spring class syllabus, the master syllabus is always going to open up in a Word doc. And this is just going to be a very general syllabus. It's kind of just telling you the course description, um, the general learning outcomes that this college course meets the course objectives that we'll be talking about throughout the entire 16 weeks, talking about like learning styles and note taking and diversity and different resources, some information on some policies, disability support services. So if you have like an IEP or a 504, or you have another academic need, this is a great office that provides kind of accommodations and support. And so there's information on how to get in contact with them there, some computer usage information, and some general student success resources. And I'm going to show you where links to those are available. So that master syllabus will be available all semester long. Right underneath that is the class syllabus. Right now, I'm recording this actually in December. But by the time our course opens up, this will be a PDF. Right now, it's a Word doc because enrollment is still being kind of finalized so therefore my office hours may end up changing and then after I know and I've solidified everything it'll open up into a nice easy PDF for you to view but this is our course uh, specific to our class syllabus so there are two sections in here which means there's going to be approximately like 55 ish students inside this online course it's two classes combined together right now this is my information um, you know, again, Dr. Remark, this is where my office is located on main campus, E244. This is my extension, and this is my email. I am very good at responding to email, especially the first few weeks of the semester when I know students are sometimes panicking or trying to figure out what's going on with their courses. Um, I will also show you inside Blackboard how to get a hold of me. Now, these are my office hours. Currently, as I said, enrollment may kind of dictate a change in my schedule before the start date, which is still a couple weeks away. So that's why you will you might see a change there by the time between you watching this video and, and actually seeing the syllabus. This is our required textbook. Great news. Your textbook is what's called uh, like an instant online. It's an open educational resource, which means it's free and you get it day one. <clears throat> Excuse me, day one. So that is fantastic for lots of reasons, obviously cost effective. And then you don't have to worry about getting a physical textbook or not having your tuition ready to go or anything like that because it's already there. So this is the breakdown of kind of just the course evaluation, the, the points in the class. It's a typical grading scale. Attendance is required. <clears throat> so an online course, when we say attendance in a 16 week class, you're going to have checkpoints. Sometimes it's a discussion post. Sometimes it's just 
submitting assignments by a certain date. And I'll talk to you about that um, as we get into the course and look a little bit more. But you do need to have a 70% or higher attendance grade to pass the class because if you start dropping below that, it's going to affect all your other grades and then you're, you're just not gonna be able to get that passing grade that you need, you know, even the D. And then here's some additional information. Um, withdrawal, if you're in a 16-week course, such as ours or any other 16-week course, this is the process to go through withdrawal. You can see that you have until April 17th to withdraw from a 16-week course here on our campus. If you're a College Credit Plus student, there's information here for College Credit Plus. And then this is our course calendar. So you can see what I've done is for every week, I've posted kind of what we're doing. Um, if you have a discussion post that week, which you'll see the first couple weeks you do, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, excuse me. The first couple weeks you do, you have these discussion posts, chapter one, chapter two, how well do you listen? And then you'll see all of a sudden week four, you don't have a discussion post. But on the weeks where you do have a discussion post, those original responses are due by Wednesday. So by Wednesday nights, you need to have your original response to the prompt. And that's going to count for your weekly attendance and you get points for the assignment itself. So let's say you miss the attendance deadline, it happens but you still need to post, maybe it's Friday, you still need to post because you get points for the actual forum itself. And then you're responding to two classmates by Sunday. On the weeks where there are no discussion forums to post in, such as week four, you have one assignment that's due by Sunday and that will count as your weekly attendance. So just pay attention to the syllabus. I always recommend to my online students, print off your syllabus or at the very least print off the calendar so that you always have that kind of quick reference. I also will always upload videos, announcements, and I'll show you where those are located also. All right, the rest of this start here section, you can see that there is a course tour this is by eSarcs8. <clears throat> so you are welcome to look at this course tour. It's very general. It's just a nice general overview. It's not really specific to our course though, but it is another frame of reference for you. This is a quick welcome video, excuse me, welcome message from me. <clears throat> it just goes over you know, information so you can get to know who I am, who you get to spend the next 16 weeks with or you know, hearing my voice. And then there's a bunch of resources underneath here that is going to help you just navigate your way through the course. I breezed over it, but here's your textbook right here. Required textbook. So to access the textbook, you click right there. Here it is. You're in the textbook already. It's very easy to navigate. You can see here, like I'm gonna drop this down. Here are all the chapters. There's 12 chapters. We will go through all of the chapters throughout the 16 weeks. And then you can drop down and you can go to certain sections or you can just navigate by clicking along here. Now, this is where you can access it all the time, but then if you go into lessons, you will see another access point right there. And then inside every individual week, there's an access for this specific chapter that you're working on. So lots of ways to access that. So that is pretty much the start here section. So again, the first couple of weeks you will probably be in here more frequently, checking information, you know, looking at the syllabus, looking at some of this beginning information to help you understand the expectations, how things are gonna be graded, um, if you have questions. Most of your time will be spent, however, in this lessons area. So when you click on the lessons area, again, there's your textbook access, you're going to see a couple things right away. Here's your syllabus quiz. So before you are ever able to open up week one, which you can see week one is there, but it's not colored in because it's not open yet. Um, it's scheduled to open January 17th, but you're not gonna even see it on January 17th until you get this syllabus quiz done. You have to take this required syllabus quiz. You have to get 100% and then week one will open. So I have students who will take the quiz and get a 90 and then not understand why they can't get into week one. You have to get 100%. So it's real simple. You click in the required syllabus quiz. It's going to say, you know, begin. And it's going to walk you through just basically a series of true, false, multiple choice type questions that are related to your syllabus. So this is where you could definitely have that syllabus open, print it out, whatever you need. And then when you're done, you'll submit it and hopefully get your score. If you don't get 100 on the first time, go back and retake it and get that 100%. So it's just making sure that you're comfortable with that. After you finish that, that's when you'll see week one pop open. There's a muddy point. So this is a discussion forum. So you will click in here and you can already see I've posted. This is where you would think of it as like if you were sitting in a classroom, like raise your hand if you had a question. 
So this is not a place for you to ask me a very specific individual question, like what is my grade or how am I doing? That's a personal course message that you'll send me. This is if you just have a general question that you think maybe myself, because I do check these, or another classmate could answer. If you have a really general like, hey guys, when is this due again? Or <clears throat> what link do I go to? So you can use this as the general question board. How you create a thread, how you create a post, you simply click create thread. Here's your subject. So maybe you just want to you know, question whatever you want to label it. Type your question there and hit submit. That's all there is to it. And you're going to use that all semester long for your discussion boards. If you want to go in and respond to someone, just click on the name of their thread and then click reply. And then reply and hit submit. Pretty straightforward, I think. Um, it might take you a week or two to kind of get the hang of it, and I will go over it, especially on the weeks where you start to have assignments with discussion boards. But again, it's real simple to go in, click on the name of the board, and just hit create thread and start getting your discussion board in there. Also in the lessons area, you will see, <clears throat> excuse me, you will see your student services assignment. I will definitely talk more about this as the actual weeks progress. As of right now, the one thing I'm just going to let you know is that there is a student services assignment due at the end of week 16. It is a workshop that you have to attend. And I'm not even going to go into detail too much with it right now because the workshops aren't even uploaded. Here, I, it's December 31st as I record this, and we still have 17 days before the first of the semester. So they do not have all of those workshops uploaded. So I can't necessarily take you to those pages yet and talk to you about the options. But this does go through how to register. So just a real general overview between now and the end of week 16. So we're talking, you know, middle, um, beginning of May, you are going to attend a workshop. And when I say workshop, it could be an in-person or it could be a Zoom. Either one is fine. You're going to attend one of those and there's a whole list. It, there'll be things about, you know, research. There'll be things about anxiety. There'll be things about student services. You can click on one and I always recommend students to register as early in the semester as possible and even have a second as a backup because sometimes you know your work schedule changes or something happens where you can't make the original one you'll attend the workshop they'll give you a certificate like a pdf certificate and that's what you'll submit i will talk to you more about this all semester long but i just want to plant that bug in your ear that you have a workshop assignment i want you to register for it as soon as possible and i will tell you when you can start registering so that you can have that in the, in your in your mind then you will see, again, I have all the weeks there. They're not going to open yet, but every week we'll have a, a folder for your videos and then a folder for the actual work. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with week one yet. That's going to be your week one video, but you can see when I click in week one, there's my lecture video. It goes over the chapter for week one, and then underneath it eventually will be the assignment video. So you know exactly what assignments are going to be expected of you in that week. Then in the actual week one folder, and all of the weeks are set up in a very similar way, you will see like, here's all the things you're gonna have to do this week. Here are the actual assignments. Here are the materials that are gonna help you. And here's where the actual work is going to be done. I will go over that in detail with week one in particular. <clears throat> so this is where you will spend a lot of your time with your work. Some other things I wanna just make sure you're aware of. Here's your course messages. Here's where you would send me <clears throat> individual questions. So if you had a question about your grade or something's not making sense, so just a general course question, you're gonna go to create message, click two, scroll all the way down, find me, highlight my name, click over, and then go ahead and put your subject and then your body of your message and hit submit. I will see those, I check, I'm in Blackboard multiple times a day. I also get like an email saying, hey, you've got a message. So that is a good way when you're right inside the course to get a hold of me. You can also contact me through my Cirque State email. Equally easy. Anytime I have anything to say to you individually or the entire class, I will send a course message. I also upload announcements. So you can see I already have announcements for week one in here. So these announcements, this one is loaded to go right at 1230 in the morning, Tuesday, January 17th. It's going to have links to any videos that you need. You can see this lecture video link is already there. I'm going to have a link to this video right there. So you can check the announcements. Anything I send as an announcement, I also send as a course message. So you're getting it a couple different ways. So make sure you check your announcements page. Here's the course calendar. So I'm going to click over to January. You can see that along with your syllabus, 
and your announcements and your course messages and the videos, you also have a calendar that's going to tell you when everything is due. So you'll be able to click right in there and see. So just check the calendar if you prefer to do it that way. You also have constant access to your grades. You can click on the My Grades area and go through and look to see how are you doing? Are you missing anything? Is there a little blue bubble that says in progress? You need to go back and make sure you submitted something. So that's a great way to keep on top of everything. The rest of this is all just general resources that you might find helpful, like a quick access to the digital library. Maybe you need to get to the help desk, whatever that might be for you. So that's a real general overview of Blackboard. I do want to make sure that you're comfortable with it. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. So please take some time. You know, obviously, watch through this video, click around, get to know the course. I also like to point out really early in the semester, the Sark State homepage, under Info for Current Students, here we have a lot of student support resources. So if you are already looking, maybe you need to um, get in touch with the Disability Support Services. Here's their information, and here's a link directly to them. Maybe you want to start getting the Student Success Workshops. It has a little bit of information there testing center information. So lots of different help there, help resources. And I will reference this page a lot during our semester to make sure you know what you can go to, where you can go. I also just want to point out in general, especially if maybe by some chance this is not your first semester, my Stark State has been completely redone. So I just wanted to let you know if you were here in the fall and now you're here in the spring, that it's going to look a lot different. And if you're brand new, you don't know otherwise. But I will want, I do wanna let you know because I'm learning it right along with you. They just converted this a few days ago. Um, so as we go through the course and there's things that, you know, might be different or I might have to like pull up a help document for you, just be aware that I'm also learning in the first couple weeks of the semester how to navigate it also. But this is the new MySark State portal. And this is where you'll spend some time going through, you know, to register, there's academic support, there's student support services, you have your my stuff where a lot of you will go to like register for classes, um, look at your payment, all that kind of stuff is right there in the new MySearch state. But I will work with you all semester to kind of just get familiarized with this MySearch state portal, especially if you were familiar with the old version. All right, so I hope this is helpful to you. I will be back soon with your week one videos. Make sure that you get your orientation done so that you can jump right in on day one and start to get to work on that syllabus quiz, getting familiarized with the course, and then hopping into your week one work. As I will say all semester long, please feel free to contact me, you know, call my extension, send me an email, send me a Blackmore message, whatever you need, especially these first few weeks of the semester, and have a great start to your spring 23. Bye.